bright duty every student matters okay so seven suzuki's 1992 speech as i have just told you is a complaint that she makes to the people present there why are the fish in vancouver full of cancer so how did the fish get cancer because obviously the industrial waste was being dumped into these lakes these water bodies which of the following sentences from the speech best reflects the term consumerism? What do we mean by consumerism? To share things. So, out of these four sentences, what is the verb sentence that actually tells us something about sharing? So, it is the third part. If a child on the streets who has nothing is willing to share, then why do we adults who have everything so greedy? Why does Severn advocate sharing the world's resources with needy countries? So why did she want the needy and the poor countries to get the resources from the rich countries? Because she felt that the countries like Somalia, India, Brazil, they are responsible for the environmental degradation and the resources from the other countries will help them. Okay. You are deciding what kind of world are we are growing up in. What does Severn mean by this? So who is she talking about? She is talking about the decision makers the policy makers, the adults who are actually responsible for everything that is going around and they are actually responsible for deciding and for brightening up the future of the children. Read the lines and answer the questions that follow. All this is happening before, ma before eyes and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. What will happen? If people don't do something soon, what will happen if we are not taking a solution? We are not coming up with a solution to this. Obviously, the environment will become uh, a place, the earth will become a place where there is no greenery. The animals have become extinct. The forests have become deserts, have changed into deserts and become barren lands. The, the rivers will be dried up. The marine life of the animals will totally come to an end. Why do you think people are not doing anything to help save the future? Why do you think people are not doing anything to save the future? Because according to Severn, the people are very greedy. They are very selfish. They are only thinking about themselves. They are only thinking about giving themselves the best of everything. Not about the future generation who would be left with nothing at all if the same situation continues. What are some of the things you can do to help save the environment? So what can you do to save the environment? There are a lot of things that we can do to save the environment. Growing more trees, taking care of the animals, then having uh, proper planting trees in our surroundings, watering them and you know taking care of our nature so these are very small small gestures that can bring about a big and drastic change in the environment are we even on your list of priorities what has made seven doubt parents sincerity so why did seven doubt the parents whether the children are there on their priority list or not because obviously she could not see anything uh, that was being done in the favor of children. According to her, all the activities which were taking place in the nature, in the environment are very selfish and would only help the present generation enjoy but would not leave anything for the future generations. What does she think parents' priorities are if not their children? So if the children are not the priority of the parents then according to seven what is the chill parents priorities the parents priorities are to look after themselves to look after what they have in the present to earn and to get as much as they can without thinking of what they will leave for the future generation 
how can parents make sure their children are their top most priority so how can the children make sure and make the children believe by preaching what they say she has told uh, you know in the second last paragraph that the parents keep on telling us not to do this not to fight to share to help these are all the preachings given to us by our parents only but unfortunately they do not practice what they preach so she said that if the parents would start practicing what they are saying to us then it would be possible for the children to start trusting the parents again but really you are mothers and fathers why does seven ask the delegates to consider themselves as members of a family member i told this to you she pointed out that these delegates were a part of one big family and that the entire country the entire population of the world is one family because she wanted to convey to them that one uh, one's actions will have an impact on the other person's lives so if we want to do something for the whole world we will have to make a change in ourselves and small small changes will obviously bring about a better change in the uh, better change for our family members who are our family members the other people of the world the entire population of the world rather if i wonder they will even exist for my children to see what is seven referring to she was referring to the herds of wild animals the forest the beautiful birds and butterflies who she could see right now but she did not know whether her children would be able to enjoy this beauty of nature or not please make your actions reflect your words how can this be done as i told you the parents uh, do not preach the elders do not preach what they speak so once the elders will start preach will start uh, you know following will start acting upon all the things that they are telling the kids that they are conveying to the other children then obviously these small small changes would account for a bigger and a major change in our environment so with this my dear students we come to the end of this chapter the chapter has been explained to you well every word every sentence has been taught to you and the back exercises are also discussed so i hope the chapter is very much clear to you i shall see you all now in my next lecture thank you